Today, more than ever, U.S. naval forces rely on strong leadership from officers and enlisted personnel alike. The Navy and Marine Corps require men and women who take personal responsibility in matters large and small and who provide inspiration to those under their command. Today's challenges may be new, but leadership is timeless, and fortunately, naval heritage is rich with countless examples to inspire. You are about to see several leaders in action. Each of them demonstrates characteristics of leadership, courage, commitment to mission, achievement, self-sacrifice, and competence. On the night of October 31, 1966, Petty Officer First Class James E. Williams commanded a two-boat river patrol in Vietnam. When his boats came under attack from two enemy sampans, Williams returned fire, killing the crew of one boat and pursuing the other into a nearby inlet. There, he came under small arms fire from the shore and encountered a much larger force of enemy boats. Despite being outnumbered, Williams' two patrol boats launched a fierce attack, damaging or destroying 57 enemy craft. When American helicopters arrived, Williams trained his searchlights on the enemy shore positions, even though it exposed him to great risk. Williams showed both initiative and courage, resulting in a great naval victory and earning the 19-year Navy veteran the Congressional Medal of Honor. Lieutenant Edward Butch O'Hare flew his Wildcat fighter off the deck of the USS Lexington in February 1942 as the carrier penetrated enemy waters near Rabaul. O'Hare and other Wildcat pilots had orders to intercept eight twin-engine enemy bombers before they could attack the Lexington. O'Hare and his wingman found the enemy first, but the wingman's guns jammed. With the other Wildcats too far away to help, O'Hare decided to take on the bombers alone. At full throttle, he repeatedly roared into the enemy formation, shooting down five enemy bombers. O'Hare showed courageous initiative in carrying out the attack single-handedly. As a result, he saved his ship from a serious attack and won the Congressional Medal of Honor. Grace Murray Hopper, an accomplished mathematician at Harvard, joined the Naval Reserve during World War II and was assigned to work on the Mark series computer. Early computers were highly complex, understandable only by the brightest mathematicians. Grace Hopper had other ideas. Recognizing the potential power in computers, she went about making the programming more accessible and understandable. Through dogged efforts, she proved that computer programs could be written in English and established that we've always done it that way is not a good reason to keep doing it that way. Admiral Grace Hopper showed perseverance and determination and as a result helped pave the way for the technology revolution that was to follow. In April 1972, Marine Corps Captain John W. Ripley was one of only a handful of U.S. military advisors still in Vietnam. A column of North Vietnamese Army tanks approached Dong Ha City, held by a unit of South Vietnamese Marines with a single bridge providing access. Ripley and Army Major James Smock raced to the bridge where Ripley saw explosives to destroy it were not in the right place to accomplish the mission. Through a series of hand-over-hand -hand maneuvers, Ripley crawled through the bridge support beams, repositioning the explosive charges as the enemy advanced. With no time to spare, Ripley completed the job and blew the bridge. Ripley showed courage and a determination to do the job right. As a result, the North Vietnamese assault on Dong Ho City ground to a halt. Ripley was awarded the Navy Cross. Commander Richard O'Kane, as CO, directed the crew of the submarine Tang on one of the most successful hunting missions of World War II. In October 1944, O'Kane ordered the Tang to charge a Japanese convoy off the east coast of China. Emptying all of Tang's tubes, he sank two ships and badly damaged two more. 
The next night, he ordered the Tang to attack another convoy, and the submarine sank one ship and damaged another. O'Kane showed unwavering courage and a commitment to the mission, resulting in the disruption of enemy convoy operations in the Pacific. Regardless of the time and place, great naval leaders have always stepped forward to provide the margin of victory. Embodying the core values of honor, courage, and commitment, today's naval personnel are carrying on that legacy. This segment on naval heritage was made possible by the support of a member of the U.S. Naval Academy class of 1942. For more information on this naval heritage topic, visit our website at www.history.navy.mil.